Hey, Mr. Steve. Got your Cobra 29 here, man. Got your, uh, your Texas Star 350 as well. Done, done the power upgrade. I just need to add the uh, 50 amp Andersons on here, which I will do after I get done with your radio. Uh, basically, you want a talk back, a uh, dead key variable, and a uh, mild peak in tune. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't really like adding talk back with a fixed resistor to where it's just on all the time. I really like to give a little bit of control to that with an on and off switch or at least a variable so you can take that variable and turn it turn it all the way up basically turn it off with a lot of a resistance at least so um, I'm going to contact you about that the uh, proper variable that needs to be added to the talk back I would have to install on the back of the radio because if you try to put that on any of these knobs right here and you turn that thing down a little bit too far you will fry the variable or a little bit too up I've had it happen time and time again when I first figured out how to do talk back to radios man I started adding them on variables right and left and every dang one of them burned up on me <laughs> so I guess got to be on a little bit higher wattage pot but anyway here's what we're getting out of your radio so far which I'm guessing is stock. You got the 10 watt slug. And about a 2 watt dead key. Oh. Oh. Reading the bottom scale, by the way. A little bit under a 2 watt dead key. Oh. Swinging about 2.5 watts. On the peak. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, right there about eight or nine watts peak. Alrighty, so we're going to get started man and and uh, see what we can do with just a mild peak and tune and these extra mods that you asked for. I'm going to give you a call tomorrow about the uh, talk back part of it. We'll be back. Alrighty, Mr. Steve. All done with your radio, bud. Alrighty. I gave you a call about the uh, talk back, and you uh, let me know that you actually uh, uh, changed your mind, didn't want any talk back put on here, so we uh, just crossed that out. Uh, like I said, your dead key variable is right here on your RF gain knob. Okay. And like you pointed out, uh, the final that was in this radio factory was blown for some reason. And the final that they re replaced back in it is a Mishibishi final. I can't remember exactly which type it is, but you know, it's, it's not a power, a power, big powerhouse final by no means. I was able to get a little bit of more power out of here and, um, so it did come up a bit. It did come up a bit. But uh, this ain't going to be a big comp tune or nothing like this. This is what I would call just a mild peaking tune. And uh, so let me go ahead and show you what we was able to get out of it for you. All right. Go ahead and show you the dead key variable first. All right. This is the 10 watt slug. Okay. So we're reading the bottom scale here. Where you see the uh, 100, that's 10 watts. So when you see the 20, that's 2 watts. So we can go all the way down to virtually nothing. 1 watt, 2 watts, 3, 4. That's about it. I'm going to put this thing back mm, about a watt right there. Okay. I think all it was getting about was two and a half before. Do we got this thing up to about five watts RMS now. Do 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 do. All 
alrighty. I don't have it plugged up to this supply, even though it is turned on. Let me turn that off. I got it hooked up to a uh, switcher down here, and uh, it is on 14.5 volts. Okay, just to let you know where that voltage is at, just so you can use that as a reference. It is at 15.5 volts. Okay. I got that uh, switcher out. I'm about to be putting that one on my new hot radio here. Alrighty. Alright, so we're getting about 5 watts RMS. Let me go ahead and take this 10 watt slug out and we'll show you what it's doing on the peak end of things. Put this 25 in. Alright. I think all we were getting out of it before was 12 watts, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. It might have been a little less. Alright, this is what we're getting at. Now we're looking at the top scale, okay? Where you see the uh, 10, that's 10 watts. 15 is 15 watts. The 20 over there is 20 watts. So you're reading pretty much right down the line for the 25 watt slug. Alright, here's your PEP. Go! Right there, let's see, right there about 22, 23 watts, no, no, yeah right there about 22 watts. Said we didn't get the top back done there for you. Get that thing about on one watt there. Dude. At one time it actually was swinging 25 watts, but I've been keying on it a little bit, so it's probably warmed up a little bit. All right, man. We're going to go ahead and uh, press pause here and get your Texas Star hooked up in line and just drive the Texas Star with this so you can see what she's doing. Don't get a lot of space right here. I think I'm just going to set the Texas Star on top of the radio for now and just hook everything up. And uh, you wanted me to make sure the Texas Star was was tuned on 11 meters. And uh, so I went ahead and made sure it's uh, got a great tune pretty much right there on the mid of the band on channel 20. And you wanted a power wire upgrade. Okay, so we got some good stiff 8 gauge wire. We got it going all the way to the back of the transformer. So that comes on in instead of going to some like 22, 24 gauge solid wire. It's going into some good thick 14 gauge wire around a choke to the back of the transformer. So this thing won't be starving for no power at all. Got you a good high quality, uh, my, my mind went blank there. Um, gland connector, strain, strain relief connector. There you go. <laughs> and some good eight gauge wire. And also you wanted me to put some, uh, Anderson plugs on there for you. So I got some 10, 10 amp Anderson plugs. The real deal there, Anderson. Okay. And here's your other one for you that you'll be putting on your power wire. Okay. This is 10 amp Andersons. They come a little, uh, I can't remember what gauge. I went ahead and drilled these out a bit. These fingers come in two different, they come in, uh, eight gauge, uh, see, eight to 10 gauge, and then they come, I believe it's 10 to 14 gauge, 10 to 12 gauge, maybe. And the fingers are the same size, and all they do is just widen out the hole like that. So I went ahead and just drilled out the hole. I did that to all of them when I got them. Pure copper, man. Plated. All right, let's get this thing hooked up here. 
and uh, we'll let you see what the uh, Texas Star 350 is doing. I guess I can take off the top too. I'll take off the top. Let you take a look in there. One second. Hey, bud. One thing I forgot to uh, show you. I did not change this yet because I wanted to point this out and show you that even some of the best can make simple mistakes. Okay. This variable right here is hooked up backwards. <clears throat> And how do I know this was done from the factory? Let me turn these lights out. Take a look at the variable right here, okay? See this leg right here? There is no solder on that leg at all. These wires are supposed to be here and here. The variable is backwards. <laughs> I'll show you, man. Even, even Texas Star can make a simple mistake sometimes. And here's what I mean. When I first keyed the box up, I turned it up all the way like that. Like that. And I keyed up. And I got no output almost. Ooh, ooh, look at that. No output. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> then you turn the variable down. Ooh, see what I'm saying? So I just <clears throat> wanted to show that to you instead of just switching it right there on the spot. But um, we'll just go ahead and do the rest of the video here. And uh, I'll switch that out. Well, actually, let me press pause. I'll go ahead and switch that out right now. All righty. We got it corrected now. That's the way it's supposed to be hooked up. Just like that. Alright. So now we can turn it all the way up and it'll be right now. Alright. Let's turn the power back on. Alright, this right here enables the variable. Plus it hooks up the 75 ohm padding. Padding resistor. Alright, so here's what your radio is making it do. With about 5 watts RMS drive, 250 watt slug. So we're looking at the top there, where you see the 10, that'll be a 100 watts. Okay, this is RMS. Go right there at 100 watts RMS. That's, that's pretty good, man. Pretty good for uh, two uh, DEI 2879s. Just a five watt drive. Oh, that is RMS. There's some police out there. Let's see what kind of dead key we got. They're about a 45 watt or so dead key. All right. Take that off just to see. Day key should be a little bit higher. Oh yeah, about a 75 watt day key, a little bit above 75. No. Oh. Let's see my battery. Plug my phone in here. Sorry about that. I'll tell you what, these USB chargers, man, they get worn out so quick. I promise they are not coming for me. <laughs> All right. It cut off when I plugged it back up. All right, 250 watts slug. All right, we got it on high now. So we'll see what kind of increase we got. 14.6 volts. Oh, that's about a 145 RMS. Oh. That's some good, good, good power, man, coming out of these DEIs. PEP is going to be off the scale. We'll hook the 1,000 watt slug up here in a second. Ooh, yes, yeah. yeah, over 250 watts. All right. Let's hook up the 1,000 uh, watt slug. Yeah, this thing wouldn't have no problem at all doing uh, 200 bird, man, if you hit it a little bit harder. You can see that already. 
All right, we're just going to take a look at the peak. All right, 1,000 watt slug. We're looking at the bottom now. Where you see 20, that's going to be 200 watts. Okay. Ooh, look at that right there at the advertised 350 watts. Right there at it. Ooh, right there at 350 watts peak. Ooh, ooh wait, that thing's off the Richter, ain't it? Door, door, door. That thing could be adjusted, but you have to get in here and adjust that joker right here. That resistor right here. That ain't no big deal. All right, man. These things are supposed to do 350 watts with a four watt drive. So we're doing a five watt drive. You're getting 350 out of it, so I say it's good to go, man. Especially being DEIs. You ever have a problem with one of these DEIs, man, and pop one? You can throw you some Toshibas in there, which would be the best bet. Or you could uh, throw some HG2879s in there. All right, man. She's doing good, man. About, I think it's, what, 150, 155 RMS with just a 5-watt drive. If I hooked up that hot radio up over there, you'd be over 200 bird, over 400 watts peak. So she's working good, man. Glad I could get all this done for you. Anybody out there needing something like this done, give me a shout. Come check me out on gatekeeperamps.com. That's gatekeeper alpha mike papa sierra.com amps. Gatekeeperamps.com. You, you can send me an email on there too if you wish. You got a contact section on there. Right now we just got HGs on there for sale. And uh, if you got anything radio-wise you'd like done like this, I just do simple stuff. I mainly like to work on Cobra 29s, 25, 66, 68. I can work on 959s too and a couple other galaxies. But mainly the Cobras, man. I ain't got no problem working on them. I've got a little bit of experience with them. Dead key variables, you know, echo boards, whatever. Talk back, you know, that simple stuff. <laughs> And I, I I do not repair radios. I haven't got that far yet, but uh, I do have a good technician that I'm using right now while Mr. Stickman is uh, in chemo, uh, fighting this cancer. And uh, keep Mr. Stickman in your prayers. The guy's been a major major blessing to me in my hobby so far, and uh, he's a good guy too, man. Good guy. So, uh, Brandy's going to fight this cancer and beat it, which I know he is. So just keep old stick man out there at the No Name Amp CB shop in your prayers. Everybody just be patient with him. I know he's trying to get some stuff done the best he can over there, man. But that chemo makes you feel like you're a zombie. I mean, whew, it's rough. All right, Mr. Steve, appreciate you, uh... Uh, be, having patience with me, man. I know we're supposed to have this thing to you out before hunting season, man. I'm so sorry about that, man. Just, hey, business is good. I'm doing the best I can, brother. One man shop over here, man. Try, trying to get some help up in here. <laughs> Old gatekeeper out here around the northeast end of Georgia. And we'll be back. Bye-bye. God bless.